Alright Michael, you know what to start doing? Start looking around for people. Alright, let's see here. Just looking for something. Assassin this man right here. Hey man, um I'm not I'm not here to bother you in any way or form, but do you know a man named Patrick he used to be the Blackwater Strangler? Sure, sure. All right, sorry, man. Just saying. Oh, look at this man. You ain't gonna get anywhere questioning the phones. Who are you? Well, let's just say my name isn't important. Right, but I know who you're looking for. Really? I have some information. All right. The price. What's the price? I want you to kill that man. Oh, okay. Well, that's what we were planning to do. Well, I can't tell you much, but I overheard from one of the traders that come through here from time to time that they heard of a man named Patrick. Right. I don't know his last name, but there was a Patrick over near Avenue Farm. Hmm. It ain't right. much, but it's gonna get you somewhere. Yes, sir. Can you read more? All right. Well, it was nice meeting you, sir. We gotta get moving. Righty then. Right, Michael, let's get moving. That old man said he was up there, so we can just get up there right now. Right, get your horses ready. Get your guns loaded. We're about to shoot this motherfucker up. Alright. Yeah? Well, you said that was gonna be here, so... Wait! Here, you go downstairs, I'll go upstairs, alright? Alright, Patrick. No need hiding. Come on. Patrick? Yeah. Nope, he's down here. That man screwed us. I told you, I knew it. He's just some old local. Probably high and drunk. You know how they are. I don't know, but it seems not to be the place. I mean, we could go to Hansburg and see if we could see anybody there that can tell us anything. I mean, that's the farthest way to go, Michael. I mean, I know you want to find that killer, but most likely he's been killed by bounty hunters already. Right. Alright, this way. Let's get moving. Right, where now? Hansburg it is. Seems like a pretty populated place. Yeah, I don't like this place much. I have bad memories here. Well, sorry to hear that. Get off your horses, let's go. Get! Right. Alright, so you see them people over there, we can maybe talk to them and see what's up. Hey, sir. Um, yeah, yeah, good morning. We were saying, we were thinking, uh, have you seen a man named Patrick or the Blackwater Strangler? Uh, anyone here? No, sir, I haven't. <sighs> Keep looking, some other people might have found him. My god, it's just useless at this point. We're looking for a dad, man. Him. I don't even know if that's him. It's just a man sitting. He just walked away. Right. See things, or should we go up there? We should go up there. Come on. He was in like a red outfit, I think. Come on, quickly. Well, I don't know if it's him. He could just be a local bystander. Oh, right. you could ask. All right, Mister. Listen. Mister, I'm back here. Okay, I think he's gone. He's gone. Wait a minute. Get up to the top. Wait, 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 we can ask a person around here if they know where he's at. Maybe they can tell us where that man was going. Right. Right up here, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Did you, have you seen that man that was just walking by in his red, red suit? Uh, 
Yes, sir, but he just ran away. I don't know where he went. Where do you do run? You know? Uh, good. Uh, I don't know. Good. Probably your left. Okay, so if he ran left, that means he'd be... Michael, get your horses. Come on. Beaver Hollow. That's where we'll be heading. Yeah. It's on our left, so if I could take a guess, he's going to Beaver Hollow. Right, mount your horses, and let's go. Alright, me and you will split up, but I have your guns out just in case. Where would I go? Uh, you scavenge around out here, I'll scavenge around in the cave. Get! Patrick. Well, here, I'll go in the cave with it, we'll just split up, it's pretty big. Alright, just know what you're doing. Somebody's here, been go, here, definitely. I'll, I'll, you go right, I'll go left. Alright. Somebody's been here, definitely. What's that noise? Uh, I don't hear anything. That's something, maybe it was just me. Uh, Down here. Oh, shoot. Oh. Alright, somebody's definitely been here. I can smell that campfire like roast beef. No more now. If you're gonna eat anything. Okay. Hey, Michael. Michael, you in there? I just wanted to tell you that, um, I found some maybe clues to where Patrick might be. What? Leo, Leo. What? What? He knocked us out. What? Who, who did? Who did? What? Yeah. So much. <laughs> no point. Reinforced. What do you mean it's reinforced? My it's name is Leo, you. and I can get out of. Okay, dude, this, this is what they put wagons and stuff with. All right, well, can you add some Michael while we're still in here, and we don't try to get out while we still have to wait time? <laughs> Shit, we're stuck here. Rat pair of fools, you two are. To think that you would follow just a random man's clues right into a cave in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere and splitting up. We are foolish, isn't we? Oh. Oh, it's not your person. <laughs> so you were the man. <laughs> Your uncle was a drunk and a bully, and above all, a damn fool. Yeah. I say he got what it coming to. No, you're just a crazy piece of shit, that's all you are, you murdering scumbag. And you're just a mediocre bounty hunter. Oh, no. Yeah. Since you want to put labels on people. You know, I dragged my victims here. Well, if you couldn't tell already, because of the bones in front of you. <laughs> I see. I don't really have anything against my victims. I just like to kill them. Yeah. So, as for... I leave a little trinket with them every time I kill them. And I cover their face with mud. Just to hide their identities. Listen. Silent? You I, got to tell me? I got something to tell you, alright, you're a fucking douchebag, you know that? Your little petty insults mean nothing to me. Oh, they will mean something to you when I blow your fucking brains out, mate. Ah, speaking of brains. <laughs> your father's brain scrambled nicely. 
Not your father. I'm sorry. There's a lot. I have a lot of victims, and I lose track of who they are. Your uncle. His brain scattered real nicely whenever. Oh fuck! Look, Michael, just stop. There's no point. There's no point. Son of a bitch. Michael, best thing we can do is just get out of here. Come on, help me out here. <laughs> Screw him. Don't let his insults get to you. Alright, come on, let's go, let's go. Look, Leo. What? Where? I can't see any sign. Oh, bitch. You must feel really dumb right about now. Getting caught by someone like me who literally gave you clues as to where he was. Really? Mm. Not good ones will tell you that. <laughs> Quit your fucking yap and it'll be all over soon. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be right back with the tool. You, you be a good little boy and stay there. Come on, come on. That bastard left me. Alright. You boys bastard. ain't very nice leaving a You boys ain't very nice leaving an old man's hospitality. Oh shit. Come on, Michael. You left me to die, Michael. Oh, yeah. I'll just, yeah. Him I'll just let him climb up and say a couple things. If he makes any sketchy movements, I'll do it. There goes nothing. God damn it! You b oh. So that's what's going on here. We you wanted to make sure you're not pulling along. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff here. Right. <laughs> you boys, you boys are real pieces of work. You know that, huh? First of my victims to actually get away from me. You got balls, kid. They're not big enough. I'm gonna wipe you two from the face of existence. People would never know you even existed. You're crazy. You are crazy, psychopath. Well, I don't regret any of it. <laughs> Shot me good, huh? Mm -hmm. I did. I did indeed. Looks like this is the end for me. Oh, yes, it sure okay. is. Oh, it hurts. Fuck. How does it feel? <coughs> You know what, Patrick? You don't like uh, big heights, right? Hmm? Throw him down? Alright, Patrick. 
We'll see you in hell, you bastard. Hell ain't big enough. <laughs> Oh, Michael, look at this hat. <laughs> oh, that poor bastard thought he thought he was a good person, but he won nothing. Good thinking, though, Michael, that leaving me behind was an option. I almost died, you know. Michael, I'm tired of hearing the excuses. He's dead now. Not even eating or talking about it anymore. Come on, let's go.